We rolled into Lutcher, Louisiana today and our odometer rolled over at 1900 miles. So we're so close to that 2000 mark, which we are definitely gonna do in New Orleans. We have one more day to ride. It's about 50 miles, but we plan on doing a lot of riding while we're there for the next five or six days. Um, but our warm showers host here, Dale, has an awesome bike shop. You can see he's got like every tool you can think of. So I was able to tighten my bottom bracket and clean up my bike a little bit before we roll into New Orleans tomorrow. We've made it to the Bonnet Cari Spillway. On that side is the Mississippi River, and that way is Lake Pontchartrain. So when the Mississippi River floods, it spills over the spillway and drains into the lake so that New Orleans downstream doesn't see severe flooding. We made it to New Orleans. We're in NOLA. We are about to roll over 2,000 miles on our odometer and we've seen so much of the Mississippi River. So. And of course, I got sick like three days ago, so our last three days of riding was just like trudging through the 75 mile day, the 55 mile day, but I'm here and we feel way better. <laughs> Yeah, they've been some rough last few days, but <laughs> we're here in New Orleans and we're gonna show you guys some of the infrastructure and see the city and the sights and see the river from the Crescent City. Well, it's basically this linear depression so that rainwater, when it falls on either side, is channeled into the bioswale and it can be absorbed into the soil. Really powerful things about green infrastructure is this scalable concept. So it could be a rain barrel or a rain garden at your house. It could be a great big, you know, 20 acre city park or a three mile trail. You know, it really is a very scalable concept. down the Mississippi River. It was a lot of things. Action! Google Maps this again. And most of them were not what we really expected. And you can tell from the tone of this video that our minds were in a very interesting place at the end of this past tour. Yeah, when we started out um, planning this tour, we had a lot of ideas of what this tour would mean for us and the kind of content we could show you guys. and. Um, we had a hard deadline of 
September 23rd in Houston for Sarah's mom's 60th birthday. So we had a minimum requirement on miles that we could travel. Uh, 2,000 miles in six weeks uh, was pretty lofty and we managed to do it. During the tour, we knew we were going to be pushing ourselves physically, um, but we didn't realize that that would translate into a really miserable time. Having the YouTube channel, keeping it updated, social media, and biking that many miles a day was too much to do. Um, but we also ended up being distracted from the main issue of water along the Mississippi because there were so many other distractions like the industrial agricultural complex and civil war history and racial tensions and lots and lots of industrial chemicals along the way. We knew going into it that the quality of the river would decrease as we went down all the way towards New Orleans, um, but we weren't really prepared to receive some of the crazy images that we <laughs> saw. Um, it was it was a mind-boggling experience. Right now we're really excited to have been processing this, but also open up the next chapter of our lives and get our little tiny home, log cabin, DIY homestead that will serve as our launch pad into future bike tours. So we're dirt deep, wait, elbows deep in dirt, working on that right now. Um, and then we're also planning to take Wander Like Water to a different level. And we've been partnering with some new products and some new companies that are really geared towards living a more natural life. So we're gonna bring you some cool products that you should use, whether it applies to bicycle touring or your everyday life. Kinda wanna show you guys what we are actually using on tour. We also are looking forward to showing you guys our development of our bicycle touring launch pad. Please, if you would, like and subscribe and share with any friends that you know that might be interested in homesteading or DIY or just interested in living in a cabin in the woods, I don't know. All right, see y'all next time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>